Transco Power PLC listed on the Nigerian exchange yesterday, Monday, and experienced a 10% gain of a remarkable 180 billion naira on the first day of trading. Uh, the share price now settled for 264 naira per share, resulting in the valuation of 1.98 trillion naira. The company, which was listed by introduction on the exchange at the share price of 240 naira per share, is part of Transco's group conglomerate encompassing power, hospitality, and manufacturing sector. We have details of the listing in this report before we get talking. Transcom Group is one of Africa's leading listed companies with strategic investment in the power, hospitality, and energy sectors driven by its mission to improve lives and transform Africa. Transnational Corporation announced the listing of its subsidiary, Transcom Power PLC, via listing by introduction on the main board of the Nigerian Exchange. This development put the stock market in a positive territory attracting investors' attention in mid-trade to hit a 10% gain just after its introduction at the exchange. We opened uh, barely 10 minutes ago, and uh, we sustained 10% you know, uh, capital appreciation within a span of, of 10 minutes. It's really a very historic and monumental day for us. We're very happy with uh, where we're going with the company and uh, the returns that investors are going to see. Coming forward. Following this listing, Transco Group will have two subsidiaries listed on NGX, demonstrating its commitment to creating value for the Nigerian public and catalyzing economic growth in Nigeria. We are 10 years in the making as uh, Transco Power. We've marked our first decade of impact. Now we have right in the history towards the next 10 years of our company, and there are so many exciting things that we have planned of lofty aspirations, big investment opportunities that we see. We see opportunity, not challenges. That's the way we are. That's the DNA in Transco. So we know that access to electricity is critical in powering our contract of poverty, in make creating jobs, in helping hospitals to operate, in helping schools to function, helping our children to do homework at home, in helping to industrialize Nigeria. We cannot industrialize Nigeria if we do not fix access to electricity. And so for us at Transco, it's not just about wealth creation. It's consistent with our philosophy of African capitalism. It's about creating economic opportunities for all of us. About investing in critical sectors like power that will help to improve mankind, humanity, livelihood, and most importantly, create jobs for our young. Transcorp Power PLC is a member of the West African Power Pool and a participant in the ECOWAS regional electricity market. Today, Transcorp Power supplies electricity to the ECOWAS region market. To provide more facts behind this listing, uh, well, I have the managing director, chief executive officer, Transco Power PLC, Mr. Peter Ikenga, is live in the studio. Thank you so much. It's good to see you again. Thank you, Philip, for having me. Uh, yeah, let me say congratulations for yesterday. Uh, let's get more into this. Like, why did Transco Power decide to list on the NGX? Well, so, so I think for us, we wanted to create a platform uh, for descending investors to be part of our success story. Uh, our mission at Transco is improving lives and transforming Africa. Mm. And, and so we've been, you know, the strategic investment we've made at the Ugeli Power Plant uh, through the, uh, the acquisition of the plant uh, via the, the, um, the divestment by government in 2012 um, has resulted in us being able to grow the capacity of that plant from a mere 160 at the point of acquisition. Uh, I mean, within a span of four years, we're able to grow it to over 700 megawatts. Mm. And, and today we see big opportunities within the power sector. And we have huge investment and expansion opportunities that we see. And we think that this is really the time to come to the market to be able to tap in and um, also have other people participate in, in our growth journey. Mm, I think there's a lot of investment from 160. But let me ask, what's Transco Power's growth strategy? So, so I, think, I think for us, uh, <clears throat> a couple of things now. So the first focus is really around um, in, you know, get restoring our capacity back to full, okay. full capacity. So okay. uh, we have an installed capacity of 972 megawatts. Uh, so the focus for 2024 is fully recover our capacity. Mm -hmm. We see opportunities for expansion. We see opportunities to play in the renewable energy space. Um, as you, you rightly noted, we are um, a member of the West Africa Power Pool, and that allows us the opportunity to, uh, to play in the West Africa regional market. So we also see opportunity outside the shores of the country. And you know that forms part of the nucleus of our, of our expansion plans and for the investments that we have within uh, within the energy space. Mm, so you believe this really makes you stand out from, from competitors? You know, yesterday we talked about the challenges in the power sector. How are you able to wait through all of these investment issues, liquidity issues, and all of that? 
So the reality is that if we focus only on challenges, we never take a step forward. Mm. So I think for us at Transcore, the core of our DNA in possibility is nothing. So where others see challenges, we see opportunities. And I think for us, um, with what is happening within the sector, with the um, assentment of the Electricity Act, that's opened up opportunities you know, for uh, other types of investment within the power sector, we begin to see that opportunity for us. And that's why we're stepping into that space. We're positioning ourselves now um, you know, to be able to take advantage of the myriad of opportunities that um, exist within the power sector not minding the challenges that we have, which, which of course, is, is legion as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, your recommendation now regarding the price of Transco PLC's shares, uh, is there any upside for potential, uh, upside potential, sorry, for investors? So, 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 so yesterday was truly an exciting day for us. We opened, uh, you know, we listed at, at 240. Within 10 minutes, <laughs> we yeah. gained 10%. We closed yesterday at 264. 264. And from what I hear today, it looks like we're going to sustain that, that performance wow. as well today. Wow. So already the market has fully embraced us. It also shows that we actually came in undervalued. Um, at, you know, we valued ourselves at 1.8 trillion. But already the market is saying we, are, we, are, we, are, we, 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 we hold signal more value than, than that. Than, than that. Um, so, so I think that there's a huge upside. Um, if you look at our performance over the last five years, we've had sustained growth in revenue. We've had sustained growth in profitability. Mm. We've had sustained performance with respect to our operational outcomes. And so the future is bright, really, for us. And we see the business even growing beyond where it is today. So you think, uh, why do you think I should consider purchasing Transco Power shares and those that are listening to us uh, post-listing? So, so we're the foremost thermal generating plant in Nigeria. Okay. Um, you know, we have footprints in Nigeria. We have footprints outside, outside Nigeria. Um, I mean, you know, our history speaks for us, but the plans that we have for the future is even bigger than what it is today. And so if there's a time to invest, this is the time is now. Um, you know, so we're going to make giant leaps going forward. And uh, I mean, we'll be here to share the story. Mm. And we have a lot of, you know, exciting things coming down, down the pike. Um, hopefully in the next two weeks, we should be releasing our audited financial statements, and uh, that will tell a very amazing story of, of transformation. We marked our first 10 years on the 1st of November uh, 2023, our first a decade of impact. This is us rewriting the history for the next 10 years, and it's going to be an amazing 10 years going mm. forward. Mm. So are you trying to raise any fresh capital through this listing? So the listing uh, today is not for raising fresh capital. Uh, but it offers opportunities for our existing shareholders to trade their shares on the public exchange. Um, so we have no IPO plans at the moment, uh, but also, I mean, being in the market also gives us that flexibility. Should we, at any point in time, want to raise additional capital, gives us that flexibility to also be able to do that as well. Mm, interestingly, will the shareholders of Transcorp PLC uh, receive shares in Transcorp Power upon listing? So, so shareholders, so Transcorp PLC already owns 51% of Transcorp okay. Power. Okay. So by virtue of that relationship, existing shareholders of Transco, PLC, are already investors within in Transco Power. Um, mm. so, so, there's, so, you know, it, so all we've just done is to create a platform, as you know, within the, we're the subsidiary company of, the trans, of Transco Group. So one of our sister companies, Transco Hotels, already publicly listed. Mm. Right? So, so all we're just doing, again, bringing another subsidiary of the group uh, to the market. The parent company, Transco PLC, is also on the exchange. So today, Three, three, um, three entities out of the family um, are listed on the exchange. So I think for us, it's really exciting uh, period for us. Mm -hmm. And as we continue to march forward in our mission of improving lives and transforming Africa. So I, I know you might not want to say all of it, but uh, a lot of package will be for, 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 for us, Nigerians, as we move in 2024. That's from Transcorp Power. Specifically, what should we be expecting? Regarding, you're doing almost 10% of a supply at the moment. That's highly commendable. Yeah, so, so today we have about 7% of the installed capacity in the country. Okay. And we currently generate about 10% of uh, the power to the grid. Wow. And we're going to see also continue to increase that market share. Um, you know, we want to be a dominant player. Uh, so today we power 10 million homes, um, businesses, industries, hospitals. Um, so truly for us, it's really about powering lives and igniting possibilities. That's truly what it is for us. So we're going to see significant investment for, um, within um, our area, areas of operation. Um, and, you know, we're going to take... Um, we're, go we're going to take it beyond the shores of this country. So, you know, deepening our play within the West Africa Power Pool, 
um, impacting the lives of, of Africans outside the shores of Nigeria as well. So you're going to see an increased presence of Transco uh, power over the next uh, coming years, beyond what it is today. Because you know Nigerians like to hear things like, after privatization, there's been a series of issues, investors not doing much, everyone says, oh, the discos, the transmission side. So but what do you think after privatization, years after? How well are we doing if you have to do an assessment on all sides? So, so if, if you take our story, yeah. we, uh, we acquired the plant in, uh, in 2013. Okay. Um, we had a huge acquisition loan, a USD dollar loan. As I speak to you today, we've completely paid down wow. our USD dollar loan. So we have zero USD dollar obligation today. Wow. So whereas a lot of companies are struggling with being able to come up with FX to service their foreign debt, we have none. Mm -hmm. uh, so so we also have shown that you can take a, 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 you can take a plant um, that has had issues around operational performance, um, make significant investment, tune it around, turn it around, transform it to a viable business, which is what we've done with Ugeli Power Plant. And so today, um, a plant that was generating about 160 yeah, megawatts, we're able to take that to where it is today, Please. and with the plans for, for further expansion as, as we move forward. That's a lot of investment. Yeah, I'm indeed. <laughs> okay, but generally, what's your view on what investors should be looking forward to and expectations in 2024 with full year performance? So I would say sustained financial performance, um, if you look at our history, we've had a track record uh, consistently growing our revenue, 20% um, year on year, uh, compounded over the last five years. Uh, our profit before tax continues to grow, compounded annual growth, growth rate for our, our, our profit is about 40%. So investors will continue to see that sustained performance, uh, would have a, an operationally efficient plant, uh, we're going to drive operational efficiency to a new level. Um, so, so I think overall is a win-win for for all our investors, for our stakeholders, and um, you know, and, and the general public at the large. Uh, and our lighting, looking at other sources of, rev of, of energy, uh, that's where we're talking about renewables now, talking about, so are you, are you looking along, around, along that line yeah, so, so in the future? Yes, indeed. So we're, we're looking at expansion plans just beyond the traditional thermal. Yes. Uh, we're looking at renewables, we're looking at possibilities in hydro, and um, you know, just other cleaner sources of energy to complement uh, current energy source. We're going to di di diversify our energy portfolio um, with the intention of truly growing our capacity. So our long-term goal is to power one in four homes in Nigeria. Wow, that's really good. One in four homes one in Nigeria. Four homes. Great yeah. stuff. I, I must thank you so much, Mr. Peter Ikenga, Managing Director, CEO, Transco Power. Thank you for coming on the show. And thank let me you. get a handshake there. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank nice you one much. yesterday. Again. All right. Uh, well, coming up on the show,